Agonizing over the gratuity is never fun. Nancy Giles has some tipping points. To tip or not to tip, that is just one of the questions. There's also who to tip, how much to tip, and when to tip. Do you tip like the super if the super comes and repairs uh, something for you? Well, I didn't know that I should. <laughs> should I? Delivery people, um, you're supposed to tip them? I'm not tipping everybody everywhere I go. I'd be out of cash. The word tip means to ensure prompt service. Diane Gotsman is a tipping protocol expert. She will have the answers I need. What we tend to do is we over tip or we under tip, but it's because we don't know. She's right about that. Just who do you tip? There are those people that we wonder about, like our superintendent who comes and fix a leaky toilet during the work day. That's his job. But if he comes in the middle of the night and the toilet is overflowing or on a holiday, then that deserves a little bit extra kindness, if you will. Mail carrier? You cannot, under any circumstances, give cash to a mail carrier. Not even at Christmas time? You like this, this mail carrier of yours, I can tell. Well, she does a good job yes. and it's hard. So you can give her something small like gloves, muffins. Okay. Muffins for my mail carrier. And what about tip jars? That's called a pressure jar. Oh, oh. <laughs> and so there's no obligation to tip. It's a nice, it's a nice gesture to tip. Okay. And what about that small army of people who rush to help when you check into a fancy hotel? Everyone that touches your bag gets a tip. Really? Well, you have to factor that into your travel budget. And another tip from Diane. Leave the housekeeper a dollar or two every morning, not at the end of your stay. If you wait till the end of the week, they've already changed staff three or four times. Oh. Moving right along, what about taxis? We turn to longtime New York cabbie Bob Manning for answers. The average cab driver probably looks at tips as 20% of his income. Do a lot of people just tip you like one dollar? Oh, yeah. He lets it go, most of the time. I had a guy once, I picked him up at JFK and I took him to the city and he's on the cell phone with his buddy in the back and just before he gets to his destination, he gets off the phone and he turns to his buddy and he said, oh, I just made $6 million for myself. And then he paid the bill to me and gave me a $1 tip on a $52 fare. How you doing, ladies? Lois Adeo has served all kinds at the TikTok Diner in Clifton, New Jersey. Treat them like you want to be treated. And it's, it's that easy. Her best tippers? People Goes in my there. kind of work. Right, working class. Are your best tippers. Is that right? Yes. Wealthy people? Not so good. Why? Because that's why they're wealthy. And what kind of a tip does she leave when she goes out to eat? If they're good yeah. and we're out, and the check is 15, I'll leave her 10, because I know how hard she's working. But what if the service is really bad? Should you skip the tip? Never. They could have started your hair on fire and dropped spaghetti on your shoulder. You know, you're going to leave something, but you're going to speak to the general manager. You want to leave 10% because there's multiple people involved, not just that server. I don't suppose going to your favorite restaurant and giving them a muffin that you made at home <laughs> afterwards is going to work. No, that no. muffin isn't going to cut it. It so. doesn't pay that server's rent.